very dusty, so there we go. Much better than the actual freaking street. we came we actually hit some uh, decent single tracks so kind of excited to be out here and I don't know what it is about riding solo but <laughs> but yeah it's just it's so freeing you don't have to worry about anything I don't know I get pretty kid oh shit <laughs> brother Big ass freaking elk! Holy shit! Yeah, it's like it's super free. But I ride, I ride very careless solo, so I try not to do it too often. But this warm up is exactly, exactly what I needed. We'll see what we get into today, and uh, hopefully we get some good footage. And I definitely will be stalling and crashing today. 100 percent let's go no oh, just kidding that's like fuck it's super easy now i remember i was so ecstatic to do that on the freaking kawasaki 250 you gotta get a look at that though that's a pretty good step up pretty gnarly one check that bitch out easy money's Oh yeah, we had to take the goggles off. I can see so much better now. I mean, the dust and everything, but... Uh-oh. Yeah, the dust and stuff is an issue, but... The sun in the shade with those those red red goggles all scratched up and everything it's just not happening. Gotta go without him. Jay came flying by, he said, he said, damn it, my gas was off. Yeah, we've all been there, buddy. Evans Creek just has some of this uh like flowy, nice stuff. They got some uh, gnarly single track too. Scared me. Fucked in the nose. This ain't working. <laughs> I told you goggles, big ass, big fucking mistake, dude. It's like a fucking night ride. Oh yeah. <laughs> in between the, the clutch and the two-stroke itself coming from the 450. First day I rode this bike, probably wouldn't have been able to do a lot of this at a constant speed that I'm at right now, so. Such a better rider than we were when we first started. Woo! A little tired, huh? <laughs> that was a fucking fun little hill right there. Oh yeah. That's good. Yeah, 
Yeah, the riding out here in Evans Creek, man, it's pretty good. So, um, Discovery Pass doesn't work. It's a five dollar fee, all day use. Ten bucks in between both of us. That's not bad at all. I mean, for a, a day of fun, it is well worth it. Still semi close. It's about an hour away. The drive up here on the gravel road kind of sucks. Uh, in a in a truck alone wouldn't be too bad, but I got my little crappy boat trailer, so it's a little rough. But we made it work. Trails out here are pretty good. The single track. They're kind of flowy. You know, you got some little hillsides and stuff. So that's yeah, some stuff to worry about, but. It's really not that bad. Oh, no, no. Oh, it's the first time I've killed it today. I uh, know. Where I've actually been riding. Killed it twice already. Kind of like coming up to a stop. That wasn't a fucking easy one, dude. No. <laughs> Yeah, Jake's back on his uh, Beta 300. He's got his nice fresh, fresh tires on him. Woo. Pretty much first gear all day today. Kind of slow, a little technical. It's a really good training. That's awesome, man. <laughs> right on, man. I know, fuck, dude. That's what I'm saying. It's a, it's a 95, bro. Yeah. Fuck, I'm surprised it's still alive. <laughs> He wants me to go ahead for a little bit, so it's probably the point where we get a little cocky. I like leading, but I don't know my limits. As you can tell, whipping around this shit blindly, I have no idea what's around the corners. I just ride like an idiot, pretty much. He said it's super dusty, so he's just gonna trail behind a little bit. I'm sure it is. I do like to whip my corners and slam on my brakes and I'm not very courteous to the person behind me. To be honest, Jake's usually pretty good about it. I'm not. Creek, man. I'm kind of glad we didn't find any of the single track when it's like coming out with my dad when we, well, he was on the XR200, I think, back then, but yeah, so I, I don't think it would have been that big of a deal. But shit, man, when, when we were doing some of the stuff we were doing, we were doing it on big dual sports. Stuff like this is very hard on dual sports, so. Such as the 450, you know, thing isn't much different, but it is significant enough. I would not want to be out here on a DR350. Let's tell you that right now. Riding like a ding dong, riding like a ding dong. Boo to do, right, right, like a ding dong.
Ooh. Let's release a little early. I almost freaking dead stopped on that root. Yo! All right, he's got to know about that one. Definitely needs to know about that one. <laughs> Trails out here are pretty good. I'm enjoying them. They're flowy, not too technical. Some of you might think this is super technical, but it's really not. There's no pivot turns involved. And there's stuff like little roots and stuff like that, but it's considered an inter intermediate trail, and I would consider myself an intermediate rider. So, not the best, so I'm not a pro. This bike is so good. I'm so happy with this purchase. I can only imagine what type of rider I'd be if I would have ended up pulling the trigger on a 300 way back in the day. The clutch control has gotten so much better. I'm like ecstatic. When I start, when I ride and like I know that I'm riding good, I'm riding to my potential. It makes me so happy. Hell yeah. Yeah, it makes my heart happy. That like I can see my progress. And if anyone's actually followed me from the get go, you'd be able to see what the experience has actually done for me. Oh, bad clutch control there. The goal, primarily, try to stand that whole way. We'll see, because the start is extremely important. Doesn't look very easy. Yep. I hate being high centered, so I really need to set the sag on this thing. I was like, dude's wild, he's gone. Remember the get, turn at Gifford we were just talking about? Yeah, exactly, dude. This reminds me of. Ah, I saw that coming. Now it's wet too. Wet and slick. Stuck here. Clutch control, clutch control, clutch control. Too much clutch. <laughs> Technical stuff in the clutch. Not so great at. Whew. My back was so close to that. Just ate shit trying to turn my GoPro on, hauling ass up there. Handlebar hit that fucking tree. A little suckeroni here. That was a pretty good crash though. Down she goes, down she goes. Pretty 
pretty close. Oh, fuck, my elbow hit my fucking, that's my hand guard right there. Fucking elbow got jammed in my side. Luckily not my rib, but. Light yourself in there, motherfucker. Yeah. That's so sketch. a sick hill climb it started it like three quarters of the way up I'm assuming if this is the top but I had a big old branch hit me right in my nose all right hold on buddy fuck yeah god damn Shame. <sighs> well, we're definitely cutting it after that one. <laughs> A four by four. In there, in there. That four by four section, uh, Rocks as big as the freaking. That's my goddamn tire. Took me out, man. What really did it is there was a three four by trucks parked in the middle of the trail. Couldn't tell how Jake got around, so I just went and sent it right in the beginning. Back bucked up, caused my front to break loose. Immediately went down and just fucking radiator done. Get her all fixed up hopefully by next weekend. But yeah, we'll catch you guys. Oh, which way do you go, dude? Okay, obviously not that way. We'll catch you guys in the next one. <sighs>